Right. In this section, we are going to be discussing about the three readings of reading music. Okay. So the name is pretty simple. It means the three steps to read music in your learning days. Music is pretty simple to read, but uh, in the beginning, you're going to do it in steps to make your life easier. Let's see what are the three readings. I'll tell you right now, and then we'll elaborate it later. The first reading is just reading the counts, only reading the counts. Second reading is the reading of the notes on count. Okay, we just don't read the notes, we read the notes on count. Third would be to play those notes on count. That's it. So first, reading only the counts. Second, reading the note names on the counts. Third is playing the notes on the counts. That should be it. We'll have a look at it using some simple tunes. We will check it out as I've given it to you here. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here. All right. So we have a couple of lines. Okay, four lines over here. We'll take the first two lines for now. The first two lines are pretty simple. Let's take them because the time signature is four by four. It's also known as common time, which is also known as four four, which is also known as four counts and stuff like that. You'll find people calling it like all sorts of names, but the names all mean the same. The count value within one particular measure adds up to four counts. Okay, so it means whatever number of notes you have, the total time value adds up to four counts. Now, looking at the first line, in fact, the first measure of the first line, okay, the first measure is nothing but the bar, the first bar over there, yeah, the, the notes before the first bar is the first measure. Here, we have five notes. The first one is a, uh, let's not talk about note names right now, at this point of time, we are doing the first reading, okay. So, the first note is going to be played for one count. The second and the third note each have half a count. The fourth and the fifth note have one count each. Let's see how we count them. So if if there were four, um, four notes in the measure, the count would have been one, two, three, four. In this particular case, the first count will be on the first, first note will be on the first count. The second note will be on the second count, half of the second count. The third note will be on the second half of the second count. Okay, let's see how that comes. It's going to be like this. One, two, and three, four. Clap it, snap your finger, or clap it, or bob your head, or, or you know, tap your feet, whatever works. But in the first few days, just just express this. Yeah. Uh, later on, it's going to be easier. You can do it in your mind. For a few first few days, do it with your hands or legs. Yeah. That's it. Let's see. The first measure. Let's see. One, two, and three. Oh, now why did I say two and? It means uh, I'm counting the half counts for the second and the third notes. One, two and. Okay, it means the first count was actually the first note. Two and was the two notes there, half notes, two half counts there. Not half notes, there are eight notes, but they're going to be playing for half count. Ready, listen to this first measure again. One last time. Ready, steady, listen here. One, two and three. Four. Oh, the second measure is pretty simple. One and two and three, four. Okay, in this case, the first four notes are played for half count each. Okay, the fifth and sixth measure, fifth and sixth note is going to be played for one count each. So that takes up the third and the fourth count. The first four notes take up the first two counts. They're going to be counted as one and two and. Okay, one and two and. So all of the measures are going to be like this. One and two and three four the third measure is very simple all of them are half count long it goes like this one and two and three and four and all right there's no doubt confusion there the fourth measure is going to be counted uh well in here we have five notes and the first four are half count each the fifth one is two counts long remember that much so the measure is going to be counted as this one and two and three Four. You don't clap for the fourth count because the note is going to be sustained later on. Okay, when we play it. So what we do is we count with this much in mind. We count the first full line. Get used to counting like this. It's going to really help you with your uh, playing practice. 
with your metronome, with your counts, with your reading. It's going to help you. Just count like this and clap a little bit. Ready, steady. Listen here. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, four. That's your first line. Let's do the same reading for the second line. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you notice, the third measure in the second line is very, very simple. Each note has only one count value. So you just have to count it as simple as one, two, three, four. And the fourth measure also has a very simple notation. It's going to be like uh, one count, one count, and two counts. One, two, three, four. We don't clap on the fourth count again because the third note is taking the value of the third and the fourth count. So let's count the entire uh, set of two lines here. Yeah. So that's the end of the song. Mm, that is shown by your double bar there at the end of the second line, right? So we'll have a look at the two lines. Ready, steady, listen here. One, two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you can get this, you are ready to move ahead to the second reading. Reading the note names with the counts. Okay, so the note in this particular case is going to be C, C, D, E, E. But we are not going to count no no name it like that. We are going to be naming it with the count. How do we do that? Ready? Listen to this now. You know that the first note, first measure has been counted as 1, 2, and 3, 4. So we will use the same pattern to name the notes like this. C, C, D, E, E. So now you know that the first C is going to take one count, the second C is going to take half count, then the D is going to take half count, and the E, E is going to take one count each. Similarly, we go a little further. And you go slow and easy. So we go a little slower. One, two, three, four. Right? We'll do the first measure and then we go on to the second measure. C, C, D, E, E, D, C, D, E, C, G. There you go. So if you if you got it this way, perfect. If you didn't get it, please do it again. So we'll just do it once more. See, okay, ready, steady, keep the count, start. C, C, D, E, E, D, C, D, E, C, G. Perfect. Now let's go to the next two measures. Like this, the second, the third measure is pretty simple. Yeah, one and two and three and four and that was the count and the fourth measure was counted as one and two and three four so we're going to put them in the note names now the second reading let's see like this c c c d e e e e d c d e c that's going to be the note names now we'll check out the first line full now ready steady Listen here, start C, C, D, E, E, D, C, D, E, C, G, C, 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 D, E, 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 D, C, D, E, C. There you go. Second line. If you can get this, we are done with the second reading. Let's see. The notes are going to be C, 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 D, E, E, and so on. We want to count them with the count like this c c okay let's come have a pre count first ready steady keep the count start c c c d e e d c d e c g c c g g d e c 
ओके विल डू द एंटायर थिंग नाउ रेडी विल गो लिल फास्ट मे बी द सेकेंड रीडिंग फॉर द एंटायर सॉन्ग रेडी स्टडी सुन हि सी डी ई ई डी सी डी ई सी जी सी 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 डी ई ई ई ई डी सी डी ई सी C C C D E E D C D E C G C C G G D A E C yeah. so I, I I still find it difficult once a while so which is why we do it multiple times we'll do it one last time and then we'll try to get to the third reading ready study so here. P C D E E D C D E C G C C C D E E E E D C D E C C C C D E E D C D E C G C C E E D E C Hey yo now now we're going to play the same thing with a metronome ready steady listen here c c d e e d c d e c c c c d e e e d c d e c d e c d e c c c c d e e D C D E C G C C G G D E C. That's your first song. Similarly, we are going to count the three readings of the second song. Now, if you notice in the second song, the time signature is going to be two by four. So it means that the total value of all the notes in every single measure is going to be two counts. Yeah, it's a total of two counts only. So you, in this case, you will not count one, two, three, four. You will count one and two and. Let's keep it one, two for now. Whenever you see a half count note, you will count the ands. That's it. Let's see the first reading for the third line. I'll do it off. I think I'll do it slowly for the third and the fourth line. It goes like this. One. Two and one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two and one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two and one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two and one, two, one, two, one. Okay, the last one is the rest. It means it's going to be silent. Now, okay, on the second reading, let's see how it goes with the count. See if you can do it. Otherwise, slow down the video and try to play it again. Ready, steady, listen here. E E E C C C E T G D D D B B T D D F E E E C C C E E G D E F E D C C and rest. Okay, now let's try to play it off. See how it goes. The third reading. One, two, ready. Play. E E E C C C E E G D D D B B B D D F E E E C C C E E G D D E F E D C C once more E E E C C C E E G D D D D D D D D F E E E C C C E 
E G D E F E D C C The last one is a rest, so we mute the string, right? So in case you have any issues with this one, please feel free to get back to me. <clears throat> you can you can just reach out. Yeah, and for those who don't have a copy, please reach out to me and we'll, we will share the copies. That's it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. So reading music is simple. Remember the three counts again, th three readings again. It's going to be uh, reading the count values, then reading the notes with the counts and then playing the note names along with the counts. We don't just play the notes without the counts. We always play the notes with the counts. It always makes it sound pleasant. You'll remember it better. You'll associate it better. Remember the note names with the count values. Take care.